Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to do an unboxing and a review of these floor mats I got sent to me. And I'm going to give you all the information about that right now. So stick around. Okay guys, so I had a company reach out to me. It's um, Yita, Yita, Y-I-T-A, L-L-C. They are a part supplier out of Kent, Washington. And um, they have a whole bunch of, of brands and um, through Amazon and stuff. And they, uh, they don't just sell floor mats. They have all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be putting some links in the description below uh, they sell light bars they sell nerf bars um, off-roading for four before stuff so they reached out to me and wanted to know if I would be interested in these floor mats for our Chevy Traverse and well of course yeah <laughs> absolutely and they sent them to me and um, they arrived on time got them out and arrived on time uh, FedEx brought them which you can probably tell. Remember what happened to my bumper? They, uh, yeah, FedEx. Look at that. So hopefully they're all in here. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, good correspondence with the company. And um, so I'm going to get you on the stand and we're going to open these up and we're going to check them out. Now, uh, it, this just came about 10 minutes ago, and uh, it's about 20 after 10 right now. So tomorrow morning, we're going to go ahead and install these, but it's all going to be in one video. So, But I thought I'd do the unboxing tonight. So let me get you on the stand. Okay, so first of all, let's make sure it's all here, because I know when the bumper, the box for that bumper came in, you know, it was missing the brackets, the bolts, and everything. Hopefully these will all be here. Uh, of course, this is not the company's fault. You can't hold them responsible for FedEx. <clears throat> FedEx needs to, needs to uh, rethink their employees, because this, this is just totally, you know, it's totally uncalled for. This is, this is not tape that the company packed this with. You can see right there, they stapled the box together. So this box has been ripped open and taped back together. So, but, go ahead and get these floor mats out. are like rubberized so what's going to be nice is you know being at work in Florida we have all this sand this is going to be nice it's going to be really nice so let's see alright get them laid out here driver's side that would be the driver's side there because you can always tell that's where your foot goes for the gas pedal here's the passenger side this is the back you know they have them for bench seats or bucket seats which in the back we have a bench seat let's take this over here <laughs> These are cool. There we go. Alright. 
cut like that to go around the seat. So this is cool. Um, <clears throat> I think these are for, I think ours, our floor mats have things that come up through and kind of lock these in. So yeah, wow, these are nice. So there's, there they are now. As soon as morning comes we're going to take these out and install them so yeah this should be pretty cool awesome now i can't wait till tomorrow all right guys i'll see you in the morning okay guys it's the next day we're gonna go ahead and pull this mat out we're gonna start with this one it's the easiest one it's been well used it's original and we're gonna put the new one down in like this like I think I had mentioned that uh, like down here in Florida and up north where you have snow and well that's not down here in Florida we have sand up north you have snow and this is kind of like a dish there it is that's it and this fits perfectly and It'll keep the sand if you're, you know, mudding, going out four-wheeling, or if you're camping, you get a bunch of mud on you. There you go. I mean, it's all in here, and I'll show you on the driver's side. We're going to go do it next. It hasn't had one in quite some time, and you can tell, and I'll show you how you can tell here in just a second. But so far, um, it fits perfect. The fit is perfect. So 10 out of 10 on the fit. So let's go to the other side. Okay, this is what I was talking about. You can see this is getting kind of worn. We just took it and vacuumed, vacuumed out the car. And it's uh, like back in here, you can see how clean the vacuum got it. And here it didn't as much because it's starting to fray. This is getting worn out. And this is the carpet. Okay, now this does have one of those little clips in it but it's missing the actual clip itself. So let's grab the new floor mat, put this one in. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna slide this up under here. that it's down in here a little bit it's kind of crooked hang on there we go there we go now that's floor mat like I said down here in Florida we get a lot of sand not snow uh, we get a lot of sand and that'll help out a lot so and what I what I found, I've used similar mats before to this, not in this particular style or kind of vehicle. I have used custom floor mats, molded floor mats before, and uh, I found that if you put them in like a warm place, they're a lot easier to work with. It's 65 degrees right now, so, but there's mat number two. We're gonna move on to the back. Okay, now this is a, uh, Two piece mat that's in here but we got a, a one piece see this one like right here does not have the uh, little tw twisty things that's been broke off but I'm gonna go on the other side and we're just gonna go ahead and pull this one out and there's a little one behind it too and to do this you just turn that a quarter turn, turn that one a quarter turn, and these will pop up out. 
and you pull it out. So like I said, this particular vehicle, I've never done one before. So I like that because um, we're going to see how user friendly they are to install. So I'm going to pull this seat forward, the seats forward, and the one in the back, I'll try to show you here the best I can. It doesn't have the turn things right there. These just pop up out just like that, okay? And there's one on the other side. We're going to go get it right now, and we're going to lift this up out of here. And the same way with this one, just lift it up, and that's how that comes out, okay? So there's our two-piece, <coughs> and we're going to put the single piece in right now. It looks to me like it has to slide down in between these seats. So let me get you on the stand the best I can, and we'll try to put this in here. Okay, guys, so these back ones... As you can see, right here, that's not going to go underneath that seat, okay? So I'm going to have to cut this. I don't know if you're supposed to or not. Um, it doesn't look like it's supposed to. I don't know why it's not two pieces, but uh, I'm going to have to do that for that bench seat. Now here's, here's the third row seating floor mat. Okay, so there's that. My guess is I'm going to have to cut this, slide this under and slide that under, which is, is totally fine. I don't know why it didn't come in two pieces. Um, this company, not the company that sent me the mat, but the company that makes this mat, when I went online and tried to type in 2011, 2010, Chevy Traverse it didn't even come up with a Traverse so I mean as far as that goes everything else will fit I just got to cut that if you have to cut it they should tell you that but as with anything custom you may have to do some modifications to get things fit but there's no reason why this couldn't have been rounded here and rounded there but I've got them I'm going to cut them and put them in, but I want you guys to know if you have a 2010-2011 Chevy Traverse, you order this floor mat, you're probably going to have to cut this. I'm just going to cut it right in the center, and it should meet up underneath the seat because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to pull the seats out of that thing. Um, so, and these are removable, so you can take them out and hose them off. That's what I like about them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this right through here just right across here just like that and we're going to go put them in the truck and we're going to see how it fits okay guys so this is what i did and that goes right in them little holes just perfect now we're going to get to the other side that one in there they don't clip in real real well but once you know once the heat gets to these they'll lay a lot better like I said it's kind of cold day today all right now we're gonna move on to the front um, you can take a blow dryer I've done before like I said I've never done this particular vehicle but I've done other other cars and you can take a hair dryer, heat that up, and it'll lay down. And once it cools, it'll form that way. It won't be sticking up like that, which I may do. But right now, we're going to move these seats back and put the, well, the second row seating floor mat. This is the third row seating floor mat. So hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. Now we're doing the second row floor mats. We're just going to plop these down in here 
Now I noticed something else on here, on these, that uh, they're not slotted. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on this here in just a minute on this particular product but as far as the company that sent them to me I think they're great uh, I did go on their website I did search around looking at different stuff and they have they have light bars they have all kinds of stuff see right here they're not slotted these holes are not slotted for these ones so um, so they're not going to clip in there right okay so but fitment the fitment's fine um, but yeah I think they could use a little improvement like little things like that and why is it a one piece when it should be a two piece uh, nobody's going to want to unbolt these seats. These seats are not removable. They don't come out. So, um, I mean, why make it to where you have to cut it? I don't know if it has to do with shipping, but, okay. Let's move this seat forward. And backward. Cool. All right. That's good. Now we can flip this. And it moves all the way up. Um, yeah, they just don't clip into the holders, you know, like they should. That's all. I mean, I do have an issue with that, you know. Like I said, I give honest reviews. Okay, so I'm going to get you down off the stand. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about on these, these clips here. Okay, what these do, what they should do, these here... The original floor mats, they stick in their, their oblong hole, and then you just, you turn these a quarter turn, and that puts a ridge on there where they won't slide around on you, okay? As you can see, these are round holes. And they're not going to fit in there. Uh, I did look these up, guys. 2010, 2011 is the same. Uh, what they should have is holes like that rounded holes okay so um, do they look nice yes do I like them yes do I like the product in general yeah I do I just think they could use a little improvement and uh, here's the front move the seat back for you the front fits perfect like I said also if you leave these in the house to get warm or out in the sun to get warm that's even better they'll They'll fit a lot better, and then once your vehicle cools off or once the mats cool down, they'll fit to that. We're in Florida, like I said, we're still going to have sunny days, so these things, once they're in here in this hot black car, they'll mold themselves to where they got to be. But fitting it, the fitment, other than having to do, to cut that piece right there for that center, um, you know, right there other than that and these don't even these ones are round but they still don't clip in like they should so yeah all right now i'm gonna get you spun around here and get you on the pod let's go check this other side here yeah yeah pretty good pretty good other than that and these you know to hold these in um see what i mean this one's missing the thing which it always was missing the it's a little knob okay let me get you on the pot okay so there's the floor mats um these are from oedro i know i'm gonna i know i'm mispronouncing that but it's o-e-d-r-o that's the company that made these floor mats. Uh, like I said, when I went online, I couldn't find any for this vehicle. Um, but as far as the fitment, the the fitment of them, 
I am going to go with a four star. They fit great, except I had to modify that. Now, they could tell you that. I could be missing, you know, like the instruction page. Uh, you know, maybe they sent one of them in that says you may have to cut it. Uh, and maybe it fell out of the box because you saw the box. I mean, it was big enough to crawl through pretty much. Um, but as far as just giving it that one little cut, I don't have a problem with that because I'm used to having to, uh, a lot of times, most of the time, in fact, if you have a, if you, if you get something custom for your vehicle, most of the time you may have to do a little modification. Um, you know, anytime you got something custom like that, you know, you may have to fat, do a little bit of fabrication. As far as this goes, one cut, that's not a deal breaker for me. I wish I'd known about it. Like I said, if they sent a piece of paper, it was missing. Um, but if you have these and, and you run into that problem, just give it a cut down the center and it meets in the middle underneath the seat, whether the seat's forwards or backwards, you can't see that cut. So it's not a big deal. Um, the main thing about these particular floor mats is um, the holes. Because on these, these cars, you know, like the, the ones in the back should have been all, all oblongs, oblong holes, you know, uh, oval shaped holes. And the ones in the third row seating, those two holes, they should have popped in better. They should snap in like, like the old ones, they, they like a snap. Um, I understand about retooling. I know a lot of people going to say it takes a lot of money to retool, but that's something that needs to be sorted. You know, you can sort that out. Um, but like, again, they're, they're custom floor mats. So overall, you know, um, you know, you cut that in half, they, they go in easy. Now these I have cleaned up. You'll see a couple clips at the end. Um, I just used some tire shine and wiped them down and they look phenomenal. Um, but overall, I will give them the mats themselves a four and a half out of five stars. Um, like I said, the, you know, there, there are some things that could be addressed, you know, some small issues. Um, I'm a nitpicking guy too, so to get a four and a half star out of me is, is good. You're doing a great job. Um, I just think there's some things that could be, you know, needs, needs a little bit of attention. It's nothing major. I mean, would I still recommend these? Yes. If you know, you got to make that cut. And if you know that the, the holes aren't going to fit right, if you know that, then, you know, yeah, I, I would recommend them. I do recommend them. I do give them uh, a two thumbs up and a four and a half star. Now the company that sent these to me, um, they get a five star all the way around. Uh, good communication, um, you know, very professional, um, courteous. I give them a five star. I went to their their um, their website, and they they can get you all kinds of stuff for four wheel drives, even two wheel drives. I mean, you know, we got that two thousand three Toyota Tacoma over there. It's still running fine. We just drove it yesterday. I'd like to have a set of floor mats for that thing. Um, you know, it's got mats in it, but, you know, they're just regular mats, and it could use an upgrade. So, yeah, 2003 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, it is a crew cab, a <laughs> king cab. Crew cab's four-door. That's just a two-door, but it, it is the extended cab. Um, but, uh, yeah, the company that sent these to me, I really appreciate it. Uh, Monkey also said she she wanted to thank you for sending her the mats because this one, like I said, was missing. She was just she was looking at some at uh, Advanced Auto here a week or two ago, and uh, but these are just perfect. Um, like I said, four and a half stars on the mats. The company I got them from, five star and two thumbs up, and I really do appreciate it. Um, like I said, they I, I will have a link to their website down below. And they have all kinds of stuff for four-wheel drives, two-wheel drives. Um, they've, they've got light bars, like I mentioned, Nerf bars, which are, you know, like the running boards, but they're a Nerf bar. Um, nice chrome and black. And uh, they just got all kinds of stuff. Um, and they're reasonably, reasonably priced, which, you know, we can all, we can all go for a company that, that cares about that. And um, so, like I said, this is an honest review. Um, those are the two nitpicking issues I have 
which are slight issues and they're not a deal breaker for me i still recommend them um and i went to their website as well and they have all kinds of stuff all kinds of floor mats and uh carpet protectors or whatever you want to call them um there'll be a link to to uh their their company down below too but um yeah the company that sent these to me yita is that how you pronounce it yita yita um i i thank you again five stars for them and two thumbs up because it's you know um you know reaching out to me and offering me this opportunity I, and that's number one i really appreciate it number two uh fast response you know on emails and very courteous and um they do their homework like i said they they, they sent me a you know two pictures one you know does does your traverse have this kind of seats one one had a uh, uh one was a bucket seat one was a bench seat like this is this is actually called a split bench and um you know and you picked it and they did send me the one for the split bench um it's just that you know i had to cut it to get it go underneath the passenger side over there um so and you know 2010 2011 they're the same i think it's 2009 to 2017 these were all the same but yeah um but you know my overall experience you know is, is you know I mean, I, I give my overall experience a five um, because, um, you know, this needed an upgrade. You seen what it was doing to the carpet. So, yeah, guys, and I, I appreciate you watching. And, again, thanks to the company that sent these to me. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to have a couple still images and um, after this and a couple clips of after I got these cleaned up. I just used a little tire shine and rubbed on them. And, and they look awesome. So I am happy with them. Overall experience, very happy. So thanks again to Yita for sending me these and giving me the opportunity to review them for you. And keep me in mind, I do have a 2003 Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> that being said, guys, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.